resembles a sphere over here. But this one is smoother. This one. Go back to top view again. This is going to be our last object. Scroll over. Go to cylinder. Hit vertices 32. Scale it down with the S key. Move it. We have those dots on it, so hit tab. So now by doing a free rotate with Alt, we can see our six objects. We have a plane. We have a cube. We have a circle. We have a sphere. We have something that looks like a sphere. And a cylinder. Go back to top view again. So now, we have our six objects in the 3D space. Let's do something a little different. Scroll down to view. Open up that menu. As you can see, on the right side, there are shortcuts. I've used the top view shortcuts a couple of times by hitting numpad 7. Remember, you have to have numlock on. And let's scroll down to camera and click, or you can just hit its shortcut, numpad 0. Now here, you can see our objects from a different view. These lines right here are the boundaries of what this camera can see. Now, the purpose of Blender is to make virtual scenes or virtual pictures. Now, we do this by rendering. It's called rendering. It adds the objects here plus lighting. As you can see, the little reflections of light on the objects, especially the sphere right here. And it sets a location from where it sees us all at. Now, go up to top left and hit Render, Render Current Frame. You can also use F12. Now, it pops up this window. You can see here. It's called Blender Render. Sort of rhymes. And you can see our objects here. You can see our cube our plane, our cylinder, our sphere, and our other sphere. But missing the circle, that's because it doesn't have a thing called a face. So it doesn't have this little gray area right here. It's just a bunch of points. So we don't see anything right now. You can see the light coming off the sphere right here, well right here. You can see the shadows too. So this is the the final product. This is the most important feature right here of Blender, the render feature where we add everything. Now if you go back here to our Blender window instead of our render. Just click on top bar. You can see these lines right here in relation to what the camera sees. Notice the amount of space between here and here just about the same. So you can see these are the edges 
of the camera. All along here. Outer line. It's the edge of the camera. What the computer sees and adds lighting to. And all the objects and everything. So let's go back to top view and add a couple.